day 15, I think it is. But um, we'll see what happens. I didn't even have a countdown on this one. I thought, no, we'll get straight in it because I'm running a bit late because I'm trying to wrap my head around how to fit this into this. But anyway, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you? I'm Steve Hay. This is Woodworking Masterclass, a day in the shed with Steve. So please, if you enjoy woodwork or you're interested in woodwork or you've got nothing better to do, hop in the chat room and join us. Join in the fun and frivolity. If you've got any questions about woodworking, ask away. So this isn't a normal, this is how to do it. These streams that I'm doing at the moment, I'll just shut the door, are all about me. <laughs> I want to rephrase that, that sounds terrible. Are all about me in the workshop doing work. Jobs that I have to get done around the house. And um, you can help me and watch me and see what happens. See, I snuck in early. Good morning, Chad. G'day, Fatal. How are you? G'day, Trevor. Mate, you've been putting some good posts up on Facebook. I'll be getting a laugh out of those. Whoops. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Yeah, I like that one you did this morning. We're now getting three weeks to the gallon. <clears throat> I suppose you'd have to break that down and say you're getting, um, what's that, 20, four days to the litre. For those who don't, don't remember gallons. G'day, Jeff, how are you? G'day, Six Knots, good to have you. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Now, I'm, I've, I've got this arrived in the mail, the seat for this. And thank goodness it fits. But before I can fit it, it isn't just a normal fitting type job. That's good enough. That's good. Um, because normally, if you fit one of these, it's quite easy. You... G'day, R20. Oh, well, good evening then. G'day, Wombat. How you going, mate? G'day, Devon. Ah... Uh... And you too, oh, Chapman, who's Chapman? Does Chapman come in? Um, g'day, Ray, how you going? Uh, yeah, normally, if you're fitting one of these, all you do is you pull the old cane out and clean it up, get rid of the glue and everything. Then you put this in and away you go. But the challenge I've got here is, g'day, Julian, g'day, Reza, how are you? Oh, thank you. All the way from Iran. Well, welcome. Thank you. Good morning, Your Royal Highness. How are you, Mum? Those who don't know, the Queen of the Moderators just entered the building. G'day, Murray. How are you? Wingaloon, New South Wales. Whereabouts is Wingaloon there? Murray? Oh, my sister lives in New South Wales around Bega. Uh, Ray, I forgot to ask yesterday with the hollow plane, what was the dowel size? I, I just used three out there, mate. That's it. So, um, I would go, you know, if you had a smaller dowel, you could go maybe three eight, what's that? See, five sixteenth and allow for the uh, pff, paper, but honestly, it's not going to make that much difference. You pull it tight. That's all you need. That one that I did, actually, that was, uh, there you go. The one I did, Ray, was in case people are wondering what we're talking about. Yesterday, Ray asked me how to sharpen these little fellas here. Whoop. Hollows and rounds. So that's a, that's a hollow and that's a round. And the hollow, that's a 3.8. And if we can... Do, 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 do. Where, here we go, it's on the floor. I think actually, <coughs> yeah, this dowel I bought from Masters because I could uh, when they were going. Let me just organise this. And it was, I think it might even be written on there, 9.5, I think. What have we got here? Oh, 3.8, there you go. Get in focus. Three out now. So that's what I used, and that fits nicely into the. Um, that's around you, idiot. That fits nicely into the sole of the plane. So that's all you need. 
Boom, 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 boom. Oh, where are we? Bada boom. 9.9 milli, milli, millimeters. 9.5. 9.5 mil. G'day, you and how are you, mate? All the way up in Scotland. Are you still locked down? Jared, good morning. G'day, George. Welcome. Murray, where is half down? Oh, Goulburn. Oh, I remember Goulburn. Uh, yeah, they're nice and chilly down there. <laughs> Starting to get a bit chilly. Um, Bunnings uh, does goes as low as four mil, from what I can tell, and it's the only place I can buy wood locally. Uh, yeah, the other thing you can get, mate, sometimes you can buy little packets of dowels and uh, I forget who make them, they're in a, they've got a um, black and yellow uh, flap over the plastic bag. Or buy them online, you must like buy a bag for five bucks, you use most of them, just keep one just for doing your blade. I was talking to Trent yesterday down at uh, H&T Gordon and, yep, things are bubbling along there, getting a nice lot of orders. Obviously, people are deciding they want to do woodwork, which is good. Yep, that's the stuff. I tell you what, I was released yesterday. I just can't... Um... Oh, there you go. I was in I was in Bunnings yesterday because I, I we were on a those that don't know we were on a voluntary lockdown for 14 days. One of my sons developed pneumonia, and the doctor wanted to put him in hospital. But given the current state of affairs, he says he's mostly better off at home, providing no one comes in and no one goes out for 14 days. So we were on a, a self-imposed lockdown, which I guess wasn't as bad because. We knew we were doing it for the benefit, um, you know, of, of my son, and we didn't have to do it. But the difference between when you have to and when you choose to. Anyway, Anthony, I went to Bunnings yesterday. What is the go with masking tape? No masking tape. Oh, they, they got the. Don't get me wrong. They got the green, the blue, the purple, the nine dollars a roll stuff. But the ordinary stuff like that that I use, Norton, eighteen mil. None. Absolutely none. Weird. But I tell you what, oh, had to kick into this. Look at this. <laughs> Could not get over it. No, wrong one, idiot. There you go. Look, look. Blades, $15. Give me a break. So what? I bought two. And they fit into my docking saw quite nicely. And it cost me $40 to get the other ones sharpened. So why wouldn't you buy $15 ones and throw them away when you're finished? Because they last for ever and a day. They're, um, what are they, 40 TPI, 10 inch. And, and I went to another hardware store because Bunnings didn't have masking tape, so I tried another store. They didn't have masking tape either. But have just, I, I didn't want it, but it was one of those things. You know when you go into a shop, and you, you know, you, you won't go in there to ask directions, but look, 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 look. Unlimited rebate planer, Triton brand. Oh, I, I got all excited and opened it, but I haven't taken the plastic off yet. Just look at, <laughs> it's as heavy as, absolutely awesome. $69 in the throwout bin. Oh, I, when I bought it, I said to the bloke, mate, I don't, don't even need it. I don't want it, but for 60 bucks, I'll have it. Never know when it comes in handy. Dear, oh dear. But very strange things happen. Very, very most peculiar. Let me just get back to chat and then I'll get up to where I was. Uh, can't believe you remember me. Yes, lockdown. I, Mate, I've got a good memory for some things. I started the job a few weeks ago as a support worker so I can get out. But it is. It's weird, isn't it? 
Jeff, hey Steve, how's things up in Banana Bending Factory? Here they go and great, mate. We're skinning them. You like that? Play on banana. It's dumb. Um, <laughs> buying online means it'll take you two weeks to get here. Well, all right. See if they've got any down there. Then go and have a look. Uh, bunny. That's about the same distance for me. It is. It is really strange out there. No masking tape. Didn't predict that. No, I couldn't figure that out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I bought my vinegar to do ebonising. I don't know what everyone else is doing. I do have a theory, though, with the masking tape. Perhaps they didn't have toilet paper and they have to wrap things up. I don't know. I'm not going there. Um, yeah, for 50, oh, $15, who cares? It is great. Well, the only difference between white vinegar and brown vinegar is brown vinegar has sugar added to it. Brown sugar. That is it. Oh, malt vinegar. No, that's malt vinegar is different. Hey, yeah, that's nice on Chish and Phipps. Um, but no, the brown vinegar, apparently, it's, it's just white vinegar with brown sugar because I wanted to buy a couple of 20 litre drums. No, not recently, but in the past. And this guy said, no. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, vinegar wholesaler. And uh, I said, mate, can I buy some bulk? He said, yeah, absolutely. I said, what's your minimum? He said, 100, what, 1,440 gallons. I said, run that by me again. He said, yeah, no, we've got a tanker is our minimum buy. I said, mate, I only want 40 litres. He said, you're better off going to the shops and buy it. What am I going to do with 1,400 litres? Oh, I know what I could do now. I'd retire. I'd go to Coochie Mudlow and that'd be the end of me. <clears throat> G'day, Tango, mate, I've missed you. Lovely to have you back in. G'day, T-Dog. Bevan, uh, what are your thoughts on chamfering the corners on a new plain iron? Mine leaves dreaded lines on long grain. So can I counteract that lateral, or can I? Um, look, yeah. I'll show you a little bit later on, uh, Devon. It's, if you're using it for smoothing, you just round them off. I'll show you how to do it on the blade itself. Is that what you're talking? On the corners of a new, yeah, plain on, yes. Um, and yeah, for smoothing, you don't get those tram tracks because you have to be dead on, spot on with the laterals if you've got sharp corners. My H&T, my number three, and a couple of others, I've just knocked the corner off. And all you do, just uh, a file, that'll do, or even your sharpening stone. Actually, while I'm talking about it all, I'll have a look, see which one I've got. I'm gonna make a liar out of me. Oh, okay, that's, that has got it very slightly, has it? No, that one hasn't. Must be number three I keep in here. Oh, come here. Yep, there you go, that's, that's one. And I'm going to be smooth as I've done it, but I can't remember which one. Oh, it's one of the, <coughs> my shooting planes, joining planes, I'll leave square. Okay, that one has it. So obviously... <laughs> That blade shouldn't be in there. Oh, unless I, I might have been smoothing a big table or something or rather. And then I would have changed the blade over. Okay, that's a square one. That's one that I... Gee, you can barely see that. So that oh, you can just... What I've done, I've rounded it over, but then, gee, that could do with a sharpen. But then, um, because I've sharpened it, I've taken the round out. So you can barely, barely see it there. That's square, and that's got just the smallest of rounds on it. But on this number three, it's much more pronounced. You can see how that's really been taken off. So you just knock the corners off. Um, you can do it several ways or just get your stone. <whistles> 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 
will do it. Oh. Hey, if you've got a diamond plate, <coughs> diamond plate will work fine. <coughs> but just get your stone and just do that. You just want to take that real sharp corner off. And then, of course, you're going to have a burr on the inside, so just knock the burr off like that. And you'll find when you're um, planing, you won't get tram tracks. The other thing is making sure that your plane is set up properly and you haven't got too much blade out. But on my shooting planes, uh, just while I'm doing edge work, I just keep it square. So it, it's not detrimental to do it at all. But, um, I just, just looked at the state of those blades in my H and T's. <sighs> Terry would be horrified. Someone asked me about cutting glass. But how much is that? I've got some glass there. We can cut some glass later on if you want. That one's not too bad, so that can go in. That can go in there. Now, now I've got to set these up. Sure they work because as I said before I hate it when I pull the plane to bits and then I forget that I've used it uh, forget I've put it back together and haven't here we go okay that's pretty good that's a heavy cut but that's okay I want that because I'm shooting boards with it because the blade's not square. But that'll do for the moment. We can fix him up later. So I hope that helped there, Devin. Ah, oh, where are we? La -de 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 -de. Body dum. Okay, up to there, say good day to Tango, T-Dog. Uh, David, g'day! People saw the letters mask in mask and tape. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Could could happen. Susie's making them now, as I told you, and she'll be down later on. I said you should advertise and embroider. Want one? I make them. And walk around the shops and sell them. So you people like the old cigarette girls in the cinemas. Remember that? Walking around with the tray and ice creams and cigarettes and... Imagine that, it was girls walking around selling cigarettes. How times change. Uh, going on a picnic in the garden tomorrow. Awesome. Look how much petrol you'll save. Just opening a new belt for my sand. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh, that reminds me. Murray, thanks for that. I've got to ring up Kerry and um, get some sandpaper belts for my drum sander too. Thank you. I should have done that last week. Uh, do you use a chamfer plane on crisp edges of some boxes? Yeah, just to knock them off. Um, I don't like really sharp edges. 
I just, oh, do I use a plane? No, I generally round them over with a router, actually. If I do do a square box, I will... No, I reckon I'd knock them off with um, sandpaper, just to make it just small. You could use a chamfer plane, but the, the risk of getting tear is too great when you're at that stage. HT, uh, 88, Mustafa. Oh, hi there, welcome. Welcome to the workshop. <laughs> Don't you start with that, Devon. Uh... <laughs> hey, now this is a true. This is true. I was reading some stuff yesterday, which I'm trying not to. Um, oh, do you make donuts? Where are mine? <laughs> Just finished bakes and oh, dear! Everyone's getting in the tucker, and here I am. Okay, Alfredo, welcome. I've said hi to you, haven't I, Lucas? Well, hi again, anyway. Uh, and Randy pop in. If he did, g'day, Randy. There you go. G'day. Um, all right. Yeah, it's weird out there. I took Anthony uh, out, and when we're driving home, those of you of my vintage will understand, I said, mate, it's just like a 1950 science fiction movie. Yeah, what do you mean? It's just weird. And if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. It's just that desolate. And I said to Sue, look, not that I, I need to go out anymore, but quite frankly, I don't think I want to go out, apart from the reason why you don't want to go out. But it's not nice out there. It's, it's quite weird. I like it in my fence line here. I'll tell you another thing weird that happened. Um, yeah, you're in. Did she have pursed lips, Trevor, when she wagged it? Um, I've lost all my cards. I decided, oh, look, while I'm out, I might as well see if I can get a new drone. And they've got the drone that I wanted on special, uh, several hundred dollars off. And I thought, oh, and the, and the salesman, oh, do you want it or not? I said, oh, I don't know. He said, perhaps you should upgrade. No, nah, I don't want to do that. Oh, well, we might not be open tomorrow. How's that for a closing technique? So <laughs> I said, oh, yeah, right, I'll do it. Oh, no, no, I'll come back tomorrow. I'll bring some cash. Oh, we don't take cash. I said, oh, we'll put it on the card. Okay. And I looked in my wallet. All my cards are gone. Everything, all my licenses. I've got my driver's license, but that was another story. All um, my tickets, all my um, cards that you need every day, my discount cards, my shopping cards, credit cards, all that, gone. And I, I just can't find them. Anyway, um, she said, have you got a license? I said, no, I have. Oh, hang on, yeah. And I pulled my phone out and there's a photograph of my license on the phone. There I am and here I am too, so I know it's me. I know we need the actual license. Well, why? There's the license, you can see it's me, it's current. Oh no, we can, we can use credit without your card, but we need a license. Says, what do you need your license for? Oh, it's store policy, do you have a passport? Yeah, I've got a passport. Well, that'll do. I said, well, that's at home, and if I'm going, oh. Trying to spend money? I did, who said something about online? I came back and I went online, and I thought, no one wants my driver's license there. It's <laughs> ah. Interesting times. Ah, do dum bum 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 bum. So my challenge, we're getting back to this. I'm going to get back into the boxes tomorrow. Bob is barking or something. I'm going to get into the boxes tomorrow. Oh, and I bought some. They didn't have masking tape, but I got some cloth tape. It looks like gaffer tape, but it's half the price. And uh, I just use it for holding stuff off and quick repairs around the shop. I don't need the strength of gaffer tape, so. Can't see the sense in bending it. Uh, what have we got? When it down, da -dum -bum. Oh, 
I saw I saw a talk of Adam Brand yesterday, and I put it on my Facebook page. Um, and he appears to be an extremely intelligent fellow. I, I don't particularly like his form of humour uh, when he's doing a live. Oh, it's another set. Good. When he's doing his live shows, it's not to my taste. But to see him um, making social commentary, by jingo, he made a lot of sense. And, uh, yeah, he, he said this. And I don't want to really get into this thing because I want to talk woodworking, but the thing I found interesting, he said, everyone's in fear. But there's two types of fear. There's a healthy fear, which is, okay, well, I'll take precautions and I'll do the right thing and I'll regulate um, my thoughts and where I go. And he's talking at all levels, you know, spiritual level, emotional level, physical level. And he said, and then it's the other type of fear, which are the idiots to go out and boil the toilet paper. Um, and one fear is healthy and the other is destructive. And, and no, fear's a good thing. Um, you know, if you're standing in front of a train and you're scared it's going to hit you, well, fear will get you off the tracks. So not to be too done. And the other thing he said, which is so true, is the world is always changing. It is always changing. It's just this is such a huge paradigm shift in change that we're all noticing it. And even though we're in a world that's large, it can boil us down into a community that's small, as we have here. Woodworking Masterclass has a community and it's growing and within that community there's caring and sharing and support and uh, everything else. Uh, there you go. Anyway, enough on that. I'm going to try and have to work out how I'm going to do this because I've never done one of these before. And especially uh, with this degree of complexity. I've got a couple of ideas I was thinking last night. I, my main challenge today is I want to get that ridge in there sorted. And I don't have, I've got to have a five millimetre hole or uh, track for it to go in. There we go. But I don't have a five millimetre router bit or hand router bit or chisel for that matter. So what I do have is I think it's a three millimetre bit. So I'm going to have to work out, I've got a thought, I've got a thought, which I prefer to use a trimmer. Actually, I might get a trimmer out, if I can form it. Yeah, there you go. Where, okay, where's the flipping trimmer going there? That could be it there. There it is, look at that. And I have to actually get that groove in here. This is the insert we put in. And now I've got to do a five mil groove all the way around. So I'm, I'm thinking that'll work. Okay, okie dokely. Now that's not going to work because that's... Ah! Spoil, Trevor. Spoil. My, well, my, my grandchildren don't eat scones, as they say. They inhale them. That's like Bob with, what was it? Bob with pancakes. I had a lovely uh, comment today. I, um, uh, I, I put the, I'm starting to put the pasta making videos up and um, I got a lovely comment from a chap today he said I watch you because I want to start learning woodwork and I enjoy woodworking but I'm also a chef you have combined the two of my passions brilliantly isn't that lovely I thought that was, that was so cool anyway all right and uh, a lot of the videos I'm doing 
I eventually want to pull little bits out and put them up as separate ones. So for example, that one yesterday we did with filling with wax, the difference between dark fill and light fill. So I'll, I'll put that one up so there'll be references. Um, hey, I've just got to go and get a new carriage for my, see that one's got a base on it, I can't use that and all the other ones, well that's another one, but it's got a different base on it, so, oh hang on, wait a minute, wait a minute, no, that's not going to work, I'll just go and get another one of these, I'll put that on, you can play, where are we, here you go, let's go, there you go, you can look all around the workshop. Boom, boom, boom. It's a couple of these I, these are really handy. Um, if you've got one of these trimmers, which is a, um, 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 is that a, a nine, nine eight seven zero oh, seven eight Makita trimmer? They're brilliant. They're before the plastic ones came out. You can buy these. We well, used to be able to buy these online. I think they're about thirteen dollars each. And they're new cases for them, so I can set them up with all different sorts of feet. And look at this. Look at this. I, I picked this up a couple of weeks back, and I thought, that is just the nicest thing. It's a professional wine bottle opener. So I thought, what I will do, I will make... A wine tasting table down the track somewhere and we'll mount that on it and so or we'll do it laminated I think in blackwood and mount that on it so then you can you know I don't know how it works how does it work oh I get it when you it's got a screw thread on it in there when you push down that twists and then when you pull it out your cork comes out and it's got a clamp and everything there that goes on. Anyway, I saw that and I thought, yes. It's very much like um, that electric planer. Don't need it, but I like it. But the best part, the best part of it is check it out. I reckon... I reckon there must have been an unwanted uh, present or something. Because, there you go, cash converters. And they knocked, they knocked the 50 cents off. So I got it for $7. I just, amazing. I love it. Things you can do. Uh, all right, now, I have to redo this. Uh, oh, let's see here we go. <laughs> I 
I, uh, honestly, you should see the... I think, Jeff, you sent it to me, didn't you, that picture of that poor squirrel? No, you don't want to be a happy squirrel. G'day, Brian! Wine table, yeah, I reckon it'll look good in Blackwood. Laminated Blackwood. I, I'm trying to catch up. Someone, can you tell me which finish is best recommendable from the test yesterday? It all depends, Alfredo. If you want something quick and glossy, I would use uh, boiled linseed oil. If you want to build up a deep aged patina type of shine, I would go for Danish oil. Um, if you're using French polishing and you just want to oil something, use raw linseed oil. The rest of them, they were great. Uh, but yeah, all these are, well here, a day later, you can, if I hold it down this way, you can see they have darkened considerably. There we go. So there is, there is a variation in, I'll stand behind it, that way we'll get in focus. There is a variation between them. From memory, that was tongue, that was boiled linseed oil, that was raw linseed oil, that one was finishing oil, that was teak oil, Danish oil. Oh, that one was. Oh, that one was mineral oil, which is just plain. And then we moved on to the shellax, which was shellax, de-wax, blonde and garnet. So it's not a bad little stick. I think I'll keep that... In the, uh, in the workshop for future reference. So a lot of it comes down on, yeah, how much time you want to wait for your finish to go. If you're doing a real quick job, then just do it real quick. There's, a, there's, another, there's another rolling pin I did just messing around. It's, why do I move that? Why can't I move the camera? It's got inlay in it all the way through it. And because I made it too short, I actually did a video on this one. I made the blank too short. I had to dowel on these Queensland or oh, Desert Rosewood handles. And when I look at it, I should have lined up that dark bit with that dark bit, but I'm 180 degrees out. But you know, it works. It was fun. It was an experiment. You just got to do these things. Do it, as they say. Okay, where are we up to? Let's put all this together. No, no, I just whipped up to my wood turning shed, George. I've got, I've got different sheds all the way around the place. Isn't it? That Lucas, I like, I just, I reckon it looks good. Do you use a certain program to track of expense budget? No. No, I just, I just buy what I need. And if I've got money in my pocket, I'll buy it. If I haven't, I don't. Ugh. And for accounting purposes, I use MYOB. Bada boom. Okay, that's not, that. it will fit, there we go, and this is a bit I want here, that's meant to have a washer, meant to have a washer there but it doesn't, so we might have to find a washer. Is 
They're really great little things. Yeah, you go and buy buy one, a genuine one, and I think you'd be looking. I think I looked at it, it was about $108 or something stupid, if you could get it. But you can't get them because they don't make them anymore. Um, now, you could quite easily use a screwdriver gun on this. However, I wouldn't recommend it because it is very brittle plastic. It doesn't seem to have the resilience that the real ones do have, so that's possibly another reason why they're more expensive. So we're just putting this in hand pressure. Oh. It's obviously self tappers. Just hope they go down deep enough. Oh. No, I, I just give everything to the accountant. She's good. See, this isn't good because that's... Oh, I reckon. Oh, I reckon I've got that on upside down, maybe. I don't know. It's weird. Cause they're not going in the way they should. But that's all right. Morning, Stephen! <laughs> you wouldn't read about that. I just dropped that, right, on the bench. Where do you think it went? Straight, straight through that flipping hole there. Just, you can't help bad luck sometimes. This means I've got to go skip diving for it in a minute. No, that's got to go that way. It can't go any other way. has to go like that. Uh. Oh, you're right, Mike, not a drama. Oh, is that where they're coming from? Right. Well, I guess the thing is I'm retired, so a lot of the questions you ask possibly aren't relevant, but if you like, I can answer them in the past tense when I really was running as a, a full business. Um, now I know, just let me know. Let me know it's a student's question. Now that's not going in as deep as I'd like, but it's getting there. I like that cabinet, Mike. But you're right, um, I find that putting a solid edge around something that's solid does have some drawbacks, as you pointed out, that um, it will move and if it expands in wet weather, it'll blow the corners of that solid edge around it. I'm just, Mike put a photograph up on my Facebook page of a lovely cabinet that he'd made with some inlay on it, a compass rose, which is very good. Um, that's that's a telltale sign. If you go to a, a department store and you're buying a coffee tub, excuse me, I'm just going to duck down here, see if I can find a screw, hang on. Oh dear, oh, that's a long way down. Oh, look at that. Oh, I think I'll go buy a lotto ticket. First go. <laughs> yeah, if someone, if the salesperson says, oh no, it's solid timber, and if it's got a solid edge all the way around, it ain't solid timber, it's chipboard, or MDF, or composite board. There we go, all right, that's looking good. Now hopefully that's been threaded, which it has. Ah, where are we up to? G'day, Silver, how are ya? Oh, dear. 
I'm just catching up. Silver, good morning, everyone. You mind if I put my nose in? Of course not. Been looking after grandchildren. Know what that's like. I'll be in for a little then go out. How did that, mate? I'm putting the, the pastors, um, whatever you call them, uh, videos up. I released part one last night. I'm going to do part two today. And it's really interesting because the woodworking streams I'm getting you know, 800, 700, sometimes a 1,000 views. The pasta one, I've got 200 views. <laughs> so, obviously, I'm not well known for pasta. Hello, my darling. Hello, my love. How are you going, well, precious I'm pup? Going good, thank you. Yeah, ah, you just come over here and you tell me. Oh, I like that. That's, gee, that's a big one. Yeah, I made it for Steve to cover his big beard. Oh, there you go. Look at that. You can go rob a bank with that. <laughs> I hope not. Oh, it needs to be tighter in Yeah, the... but he's bigger in the face than you. Is he? Well, you'd know. You gave birth to him. <laughs> <laughs> he a was only he was only nine pound ten. Yeah, it's something just, like that. Just a lad. <laughs> no, he's got he's got a big beard. He's part of the beard of dragons. It's a beard, a beard of dragons. That's a pub up the road, isn't it? The beard of dragons. Yeah. The um, bearded villains. And Susie just made this because he's got a great big long beard. Hang on, let's go this way. There you go. So that goes there like that. And he can shovel his beard up and he can get kisses. Yeah. Does it work? No. Ew. <laughs> I don't know. Does he put no, mum's on it? It's not as nice. <laughs> so there you go. And what have we got? Oh, that one's good too, isn't it? Should we show them? Might as well. He, he's, he's barking his head off. Um, hang on, let me just turn this around. And we'll, ready? Susie's thought for the day. Let me get up before we do that. Um, so I don't yes, know. if you're watching Steve and Trace, one down. What do you mean one down? Well. Has he got two heads? He's not, he wasn't born in Tasmania. No, but you yourself. <laughs> I've got to make one for Trace and then I've got to make one <coughs> more for the doctors. Oh, yeah, there you go. I've got a Laguna, Mike, I'm looking at, I've got a Laguna um, sliding dovetail table saw and I cannot speak highly enough of it. Uh, I've tried some of their others and I'm not even going to mention them, that's what I think of them, but the sliding dovetail is great. Get Bob to assemble it. Where's your green mat, mate? Uh, well, it'll come up soon, but I'm just on here at the moment. Thanks for reminding me where's my green mat, darling. He's down here. They're into me today. Look, there you go. There it is. And where do I get my green mat from? Me. That's it. <laughs> Susie, you, you were a hoarder. Hoard buy before it was trendy, weren't you? You go out and buy 20 of those. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> thought of the day. Sue, did you take all his Yeah, there you go. Did you take all my cards? What cards? All my credit cards. No, you didn't. definitely not. They're gone tell us, haven't they? I can give him mine. He can pay him off if he wants. No, I'll use them. I'm not paying them off. They're in your name. <laughs> hey, Brian. She, she, I love she, tells me to fall down. That means to do a squat because I always fall down when I do. Huh? All right. No, she didn't, Julian. We found that out. Here we go. Thought for the day. Be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. Here you go. That's deep, isn't it? That's, and we were just talking about fear. There's mm -hmm. good fear and silly fear. Yeah. Good fear is... Makes you take fear, precautions. Fear that I'm going to go <clears> on you. Yeah, well, that's good too. Yeah, but I'm not allowed to go out, so I can't. Um, <clears throat> but the other fear is stupidity. Yeah, so, exactly. So that's good. Be fearless in your pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. Not your house. Don't do that. Or your kitchen, because we've had one kid burn the kitchen down, didn't we? we did. Yeah, there you go. Um, it's great stuff. Where were you yesterday? You, you, you snuck out too. And you went to Spotlight and you were hearing Spotlight, for those of you who don't know, Spotlight is the, um, the wall market of fabric in Australia. 
it's a big, the big box fabric shop. Yes. <coughs> and um, they reckon that's the busiest day they've ever had on record. And the lady behind the counter was saying, everyone's just buying stuff because they're just getting into craft. So perhaps that's it. Perhaps that's the underlying thing. We should all get into making things. Yeah. I what think that's they? good. What? Hey, and you made it. Do you know? Hey, Trevor, what can I do? Is there a remedy? Had tea last night. Very nice. And I thought, no dessert. That's a bit rude. Oh, well, um, I'll have half a packet of Monte Carlo biscuits. And then this morning, Sue goes, oh, I forgot to tell you, I made a trifle yesterday. Wait, what, what do you do with that? I can get in at really lunchtime. I will, but I could have done with some last night. Because my emotional... You didn't ask. I didn't think I have to. You don't ask, you don't get. Yeah, and you ask, it's rude. Yeah. <laughs> Particularly right. if there isn't any. Mm, that's it. <coughs> Brian likes that one. Hang on, let me read these. Prunella, so you got to, have you bowed to Her Highness this morning? No, you should curtsy. No, don't do that. You smack your nose on the bench. Um, uh, uh, Prunella says inspirational. Alfredo, well. T-Dog loves it. Julian likes that one. Brian likes that one. You and excellent work. Love the colour choices. <coughs> yeah, just fall asleep. Oh, there you go, Trevor. I should have done that. Just fall asleep. You can't fall asleep next to a chain cutter. A chain, what is it? A chainsaw? You get a fair rattle up. Oh, I know, I do. I've woken myself. And I just roared with laughter. I think it's the funniest thing. What was that noise? And you realise it's yourself going. Look at that. Yeah. It's funny, but it's all good. Um, I hope to do what, what we do. <laughs> uh, Sue. Need to make more aprons for us. Now we're 40. <laughs> I, I'll, as soon as those boxes are out of the way, I'll do that. I've got, we've got rolls and rolls of drill. Yeah. I've got to make another camo one for myself. And then we might, then we might do some, oh, it depends. As soon as I get those boxes out, we can look at that. I've been told also, I don't know about all the rest of the world, but Australia needs scrubs for the um, nurses and doctors. What are scrubs? The hats and all that, so is that they don't get their hair in the way. Or oh, well, why don't they just shave their head? That's a possibility, I suppose. Then they might look as if they've got problems themselves. <laughs> you're, you're a sad individual. <laughs> I was the one that suggested the shaving. Oh, no, you came up. <laughs> all right, that's all right. it. I'm late okay. Up. Bye, everyone. Catch you so that, they all go by. No, when I go, I. Oh, yeah. mm. But no, that's it. Now you know. Here too, right they on. need scrubs, and people are sewing like crazy. And the masks. There you go. That's it. I crank out. My, you, you could lose one of your sewing machines. Oh no, I'll get my bananas out. I reckon. I, I think what I'll do. I'll bring down the PQ fifteen hundred. No, you won't. Yeah, I, I, just, just for a lend. Okay. Mine. I don't care. <laughs> See, oh, have yeah. you ever done that, Trevor? What's, it, you, you think you own something, your wife goes, no, no, this is how it works. What's mine's my own and what yours is mine as well. So you did pinch me card. It's only taken <laughs> 45 years for him to work that out. No, 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 that's not true. I worked it out a long time ago. It's taken me 45 years to pluck up the courage to let you know that I worked it out. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, get some mooch. <coughs> hey, we should do Louis Vuitton. You want, you want the mooch? <laughs> Louis, Louis Vuitton. No, I want a real kiss. Mm, I love you the bits and back. Um, yeah, Louis Vuitton one. There you go. Okay. Oh, I'll just go to the Vinnie's and get a Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Knock off and cut the fabric out of it. <laughs> All right. Ah. Uh, no one was a tent. Well, I've got a tent out the back. I've got a pickup. Up, yeah, up. it has, but it keeps raining. Oh dear. All right, darling. Love you. Thanks for coming down. That's all, right. all right. Now, what was I going to do? Oh, that's right. I've done this. 
see. Now this should go up there. And there we go. And that should drop down. So let's have a butcher's. Uh, what I'll do, we'll get five mil. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh. <whistles> <whistles> oi, 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 oi. <laughs> Those rockers, I had a look at them. Oh, yes. I looked up online. They're $1,700 US. I just, so perhaps I did do good for getting it for $35. <laughs> oh, that's not going to work. Ah, mortise gauge, mortise gauge. There you go, look at that. I haven't used this for a long time. So what I've got to do is cut, where are we? Cut a five mil groove in here. And I just set that at five mil and guess what? It doesn't work. But, there you go, mortise gauge. And if I set that at five mil, if it'll go that small, just about, and then, ow. And then we might go all cams here so you can see. And I set that to the edge so that pin, the inside pin, is running here and so it's got to go out a bit more but um now, did i have a light i'm sure i did where did i put it ah there it is There you go, now I can, now I can see. Okay. I'm thinking that's too big. It is. Oh, well, in that case, we'll measure this. And then we'll add that to the marking gauge. There's all sorts of ways you can do things. And no way is the right way. Okay, so that's 10. So if I set this at 15, that should give me the results I'm looking for. And that's lower than that'll go, so we'll have to... Oh, wait a minute, wait. Let's, let's get the, the big guns out. We'll get the Colin Clinton one out. Set that, at f what did I say? Fifteen. That's looking closer. Now I want to have it a little bit tighter. That's looking good. So now I'm going to set this up so it will cut on that line. Let 
Drop it down a little bit more so I can get a better look. Okay. That's just touching the inside. That's just touching the inside of the frame, which I don't want, so I'm going to have to move it in a little bit more. I mean, these aren't calibrated or anything flash like that, so we're just going to have to guesstimate it. <clears throat> I think that's pretty close. go around there and then we can just take a little bit more out. We will see. Uh. <whistles> Where are we up to? Yes, multiple companies charging supply of oh, oh, scrubs and the dum -ba dum. Dum. Yeah, that'll work, Trevor, you got to tell it. But the thing is, you actually do have to make a present because she'll remember otherwise. <laughs> oh dear. No, well, what happened, Brian, because Brunella became a moderator and she just, just, you know, change in personality overnight, give someone a promotion, it just goes to the head. And, and uh, I said, oh, hail, hail to the Queen of the Moderators because Brunella is the first lady moderator we've had at Ray's suggestion. And she said, yes, I wouldn't mind being the Queen or something. I said, well, you can be the Queen. And she said, oh. I can either be a queen or a mistress, I can do both. And I said, well, you better be a queen, I think. And then the chat room went stupid. So that's it. She's now Her Royal Highness Queen of the Moderators. And loving it too. Right, I, I brought that up with me kids the other day. Um, uh, God, what was it? Oh. Yeah, that's right. Um, Sue said, do you want, what do you want to eat? And I said, oh, I don't know. We, we got any dog's eyes left? And the kids looked at me, dog's eye? I said, yeah, dog's eye and blood. Oh, what are you eating? I said, meat, pie and sauce. Or if you prefer, I'll have a dog size with it. Dog's eye with a um, horse. That was it. Dog's eye with a dead horse. What? I said, dog's eye, pie, dead horse, sauce. What? Have you heard of trouble and strife? Wife? No. What do they teach these kids nowadays? It's not even proper English. I, I got learned proper when I went to school. It made me funk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, and he recharged the battery cunningly off offline. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, you 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 can say whatever you like, Brian. She'll let your through your comments through. Yeah, you're going up apple and pears, going upstairs. Oh, I love it. Going to have a Jimmy Riddle? Work that one out for yourself. Yes, that's what I'm trying to do, Prunella. But oh, do you see that? See the power she has? She just, boom, brings a chat room straight bigger. Focus, Daniel son. Woof, you're doing a chair. Yeah, that's what I'm doing because um, a week or so ago, or a month maybe, I put this in so I could because all this was broken out. That's why the seat fell together. Is that, is that all right? Can I continue now? <laughs> uh. Dear, I wish this would go slower. Where are we? How far behind? I'm only 10 minutes behind. That's not bad. Oh yeah, there's some jigs I've got to make up. Hey, listen, Julian, I can make I can make pasta with a hammer in my hand. <laughs> See, you crack eggs. <laughs> I'll go for a slap over the head. <laughs> yeah, my mum favoured the umbrella, right? The <laughs> caught the umbrella over the scone. And it used to really annoy me because they were umbrellas that I'd bought and they got broken. Anyway. <laughs> Can do Brazil! How are you, my friend? Mm. Yeah, did you ever get that, Ray? She broke the wooden spoon on your backside and you cop another <laughs> flogging from a thong because you broke the spoon. <clears throat> Well, it gave us a talking point anyway, Ray. <laughs> okay, Prunella, you win. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying, Brian. We copped it. They'd break it and we copped it. Ruby Murray. Oh, there you go. Having the curry. And what's... Oh. Dickie Dirk. That's a shirt. Oh. Remember once in the primary school, I was told to go to the cupboard and get the cane out. I said, I can't find it, sir. He said, well, you're lucky. I was right there in front of you. And I thought, what? Well, how stupid is that? It's like digging your own grave. Oh, I found the cane. Can I have it now? <laughs> no, it's all right, Ray. Dobie, how are you, mate? Thanks for coming in. Oh, Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. But now I've got to work out how I can... Um, I'm not drinking that. It's got cockroach stuff in it. Um, how I can clamp this. Oh, it could be in luck today. Could be in luck. Uh, it, we might. We might well, well and truly have it sorted today. What I'll do is put that in there and put these dogs up here. Oh, wouldn't that rip the sh shorts out of your nighty? Um, 
Pong. Okay. Hang on, just get a block of wood. And then, and then, <laughs> it's a bit over the top, isn't it? I'll just bring a bit of wood over, a bit of ebony. Um, uh, okay, that's what we'll use. <coughs> if you're going to make chocks, you might as well make expensive ones. La -di -da -da -pum. Okay. Now, I don't know, that's going to have to come down. Let's go all these ones here. So that's. That's going to have to be thinner than that, which means I'm going to have to use a thinner block as well. Oh. Do boom, 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 ah, boom, boom, Wait a minute, I'll just cut a bit off here. I'll just do that and then I'll then I'll just move it. That's gonna be the easiest easiest way I think. So I'll do around here first. Let me get some eye muffs on. Oh these are me camo ones. I'll wear me camo because they because they match they match my apron. Specially made by George for me. There we go. Okay, here we go. Oh. We'll put a hole down there so that won't move. And we'll try. Tell you what, oh, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon that'll, that'll that might have potential. <clears throat> I love trying new things that I've never done before, and people watching <laughs> just adds to the excitement.
Very confusing it is. I'm in, I'm in La La Land at the moment. So far, I think. So, God, oh, I do miss not having a compressor. Okay, that's a little tight. That's all right. I prefer it was a little tight than a little um, loose. Okay, so we'll go down the next depth. She'll be to there. the depth that was. All right. <laughs> ha! Nerves are shot. I said, ah. If that works, Ray, I, I, I'll find my credit cards. Where are they? <laughs> Look how much money I'm saving. Hi, Louise. Oh, Louise. G'day, Andrew. How are you, mate? Oh, well, I hope her mum's good.
Yeah, big difference, Brian. We actually do stuff in the sheds. Kids don't seem to do much in their rooms. Yeah, I think that, that could well change, Ray. I think people will now sort of, oh, how can I fix that? And what can I do here? There you go. We're trendsetters. Oh. Oh, well, I've got a computer question, 400 gig of empty space in the hard drive. I only want run one program render as quick as it did so last week. What could that be? Is the processor on the fritz or what? Interesting to know. <laughs> Better. Well, I, I ask myself the same question every morning. <laughs> What am I doing here? But I'm in too deep now, I'm not leaving. So welcome to the workshop, my friend. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, there's, there's no wading or dipping your feet in here, you just dive in. <clears throat> ba -dum, ba -dum. Actually, I, I was thinking of that. Um, you were saying sell it, sell your old one. I worked out I'd most likely get what it's going to cost me for a new drone from old smashed up one. Okay, sounds like Windows needs reinstalling. So do I just go onto Windows and hit reinstall? Upgrade with an SSD. What is an SSD? Solid state drive, is that it? Hey, oh, check the old fella out. Solid state, he's, he's up with the lingo. And that's not rhyming slang for dingo. <clears throat> okay, I'll look at that. I might drop it in the computer shop if it's there. Okay. So Taskmaster, that's, um, oh, uh, what is it? <clears throat> Control, Alt, Delete, and that comes up. Is that the one? Oh, there you go, Prunella. All right, I'll put another jewel in your crown. <laughs> okay, I'm um, going to go around here again. So fingers crossed, eyes crossed. Oh, dear. Actually, I think I put a solid state drive in there. No, no, I'm mistaken. That was my laptop. One of my laptops. Do you know how tricky that is? Change camera angle while the router's doing some work. You multitasking. Something feels as if it's not right there. Yeah? I don't know what it is. Something's feeling weird. Oh, I wish I had a compressor. That's going to be a job in the next couple of days. Pull that apart. Find out why that's not playing the game. What a boom. Oh, use me vacky instead. There we go.
Okay. Must be alright. Yeah, it just I don't know, it just felt as if something was slipping. But maybe it wasn't. Here we go, we go <laughs> against the direction of rotation here and think it happen. No, it's not going to do that. I'll end up going through the chair. It's hard to get a, an angle on this. That's all right. I know I've got to soak this. Alright. Lucky on that. How to fix mistakes. I tell you what, we're getting there.
is fraught with danger, this one. Just gonna make it a little bit wider, but I think that's that's gonna do the job. Yeah, that's a bit tight there, that's not too bad there. <coughs> so, all we've got to do is just make this a tad smidgen deeper, a wider. We got the depth right, so to do that I'm going to have to move this out so I can move this in and I'll just use my inbuilt finger micrometer. There you go, about half a mil I think. What have we got? That, Jeff, what a bonus! Lovely Robert Sorber's carcass saw, isn't that lovely? Does it need to sharpen? We can, we can sharpen it. If you, well, if you know how to sharpen it, just I'll look at some saw sharpeners. Yeah, I was going to do saw sharpening yesterday. There you go, got some sharpening. <laughs> there was three of them there. The rest of them mostly gone on holidays with my credit cards, I think. Which one's that? There you go. Isn't that lovely? What a bonus. Oh, I, I should imagine. Well, I'm going to check outside my door. All I'm going to have is a dog looking at me. <laughs> Am I I'm 10 minutes behind. All right, I'll jump 10 minutes. The compressor is broke. Yeah, it's gone. No, it, it, um, it's just, I think the motor's okay, but I've replaced the rings on the pistons oh, about 15 years ago. So it could be, that's it. I've got a, a, a beautiful big three-pot compressor up in the wood turning shed, which I used to have here, but because up there I've um, got a mechanic shop as well as the wood turning one, I thought I'm better off to have the big compressor up here because I don't use a lot of air down here. I don't use air tools, but I've got air tools up there. And what was the other thing? Oh, that was right. I took it up there because I was painting the roof of the house with a spray gun. And... It's uh, 22 cubic foot, so it doesn't run constantly when I'm using the spray gun, whereas this one, it, it'd melt. <laughs> Was I? <laughs> Was my tongue hanging out? Do 
Now, I don't know if you do save much money, James, because there's a thing called online shopping. I tell you, that was the thing that got me the other yesterday when I went up to the shops, um, local shopping centre up the road. If, the, I kid you not, I doubt if there would have been 10 shops open out of the whole shopping centre. But the majority of them that I looked at all had our stores closed, but please go online and buy online. So, yeah, huge push. And then uh, Bronwyn, my, my nice post lady, not the one that complains about the dog, she loves Bob. I was talking to her yesterday and she says she is run off her feet at the moment. And interestingly enough, kids' puzzles. She's just delivering all these jigsaw puzzles. And people are just buying online. Um, yeah, going crazy. So, there you go. Thanks, Prunella. See you, George. Thanks for dropping in. Catch you later. Stay safe. See you, T-Dog. Stephen, hi, Steve. I asked you earlier, but you must have missed it. I have a handsaw handle to replace. What wood would you recommend for a new one that's available in South East Queensland? Well, traditionally, traditionally, they're European beach. A lot in America are walnut. Um, yeah, I, Queensland walnut would look nice. Oh, look, it really doesn't matter. Um, blackwood, blackwood will look nice. Uh, what size do you need? I almost only got it here. Um, yeah, I, let's, well, let's have a look up here at what I've got on saw handles. There you go. Let's have a... Let's have a butcher's up there. Okay, well that's figured maple. That one. There is... That one's beach, that one's beach, that's maple, that's maple, that's beach, that's beach, that's cane. So yeah. Look, anything. Um, if you're going to carve the handle, get something nice. Queensland walnut would look nice. Or, um, yes, Bob. Come on. In you come. Bob. Here we go. Come on, you big lump. Here you go. Did you think we'd forgotten about you? Oh, oh it's just so exciting. Where are you? Tell everyone what you've been doing. Are you happy, Bob? Are you happy? Hey, ha, oh, oh, ha, oh, oh. ha, ha, ha. Hey, is that the way? Is that is that the way you can tell if your dog's happy to see? Look at that tail wag. That's it. He's just having to sniff and see if there's any food around. Aren't ya? Oh, yes, scallywag. Ooh, you start with me, I'll smack you in the next week. That's what I'll do with you. You're a good boy. You gotta lie down. Go on. Uh, so I hope that one helps, Stephen. And yeah, as I said, I've actually I've got some really nice quilted maple if you want to make it out of that. Oh look, it could be James. I've been following that um, before this happened, and. Yeah, apparently in America, or people in America could tell me, a lot of the shopping malls are just closing down. But before this happened, and now it certainly is. Yeah, Stephen, look, um, give me an uh, email if you like, admin at woodworkingmasterclass.com.au and um, we can have a chat. And as I said, I've mostly got the stuff here. Whereabouts in um, Queensland are you? Just put the suburb, that's all. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? People buy online and you don't know if the clothes fit. Because sometimes you can get a pair of shoes that are a 10 and one pair will fit nicely, another pair won't fit. And yet they're both meant to be the same size. Petter, I prefer the workshop over the forge and I'll never leave 
like Team Dog and George. Oh, thanks, Peter. Well, I, I like both. Um, I don't particularly like the Forge in summer, but it's getting to that stage where, yeah, I'm going to crank it up. I've got heaps of charcoal that I made, and I'm looking forward to doing some Forge work. I've just got to get these boxes out and do this, and then we'll, we'll have a, a real... Um, 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 uh, what do you call it? Smoker's board. We'll have woodworking down here. We'll have wood turning up in the other shed. We'll go into the smithy shed and do some forging and bash some steel out. Uh, and then we'll do some resin work. All sorts of things we can do. Oh, look at that. Bob's dear. Uh, you and Duxy are on the same wavelength. Did, did you know that? He, he doesn't care. He's just... He's just... He's over it. He's over it. Now, that's it. I've done my job. I'm going to have a snooze now. I've come in. Said good day to everyone. Oh, dear. <clears throat> um. <laughs> I was just reading Prunell's thing. Uh, what is it? Would Tazio be okay for it? Uh, no, I wouldn't like to use it. it. You get a splinter out of Tazio, you know. I mean, it would do at a pinch, but if you're making one from scratch, I'd go for a nice timber. Oh, Boona, mate, you're just down the road. Just the other side of Bowie. There you go. Yeah, so drop me an email and um, I can send you photos of what I've got. I could drop it in next time I'm going through to Texas. Actually, I'm going to see about that because uh, reading the lockdown laws in Queensland, I might be allowed to go to Texas because I'm only 1.4 k's in and it's the same property in the properties on Queensland and New South Wales. I'm going to look into that. Yeah, that's true. Choose a different bad news to you. Just got the email. School's closed till 31st. <laughs> Mate, oh, that's all right, Mike. I'm still going. Yep, I, what I, I was talking to Susie, what I might do this initial month, the first month, I'll um, keep doing three-hour streams or two and a half hour, and then depending on how we're going, I might cut them down, but I will definitely still stream. Providing people are there to watch, there you go. <clears throat> well, actually, one of the teachers bought uh, Luke, oh, stack of schoolwork yesterday um, that he had to do. And I'm interested to know if the parents that are teaching their kids at school, are they going to get paid? Hmm. Interesting. I'm not going to go there. I'm working on one now of cherry. It's easy to Yeah, no, cherry's nice too, but we don't get cherry. Oh, I tell you what. Tell you what I do have, Stephen. Chilli and myrtle. That is nice. That's close to cherry in, in colour. Hey, I'll show you some chilli and myrtle. This is chilli and myrtle here. That, that's a bad shot. Let me try it on this one. It's a real, really, really well. <clears throat> Do you need a reminder about... Oh, you got... Alfredo, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I'm nearly going flat. Good call. Hang on, I'm going to... I'll do the Marcel Marceau bit. Ah, oh, right. Here we go. We're off the air for a minute.
One, one, two, one. <laughs> Bob's walking around sniffing all the batteries. Bob, you can't eat them, mate. They're flat, okay? Got no floods. Don't lick your chops at me. Here you go, look, new boxes. I think $24, $24. So that's good. Hey, you're a good lad. Oh, we have, we've had chocolate batteries, you'll be all right. Do you want to go out now? You've been in, you've seen everything. There's nothing to eat. You want to go out? Okay, we'll stay in there. I don't care. Whatever you want to do, mate. Ah. Yeah, I think getting the kids down is 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 the uh, challenge, Mike. We when we homeschool Anthony, yeah, we have to put things in place so he'll actually do it. But having said that, in all honesty, he can get through a day schoolwork and a lot less than a day because he's not changing classes, he's not having breaks, he's sitting down and focuses on whatever. So there you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Distance education, when kids on big properties, they would do their schoolwork over a radio back in the 50s and 60s. Hey, Alan, how are you, mate? Yeah, oh, these good, aren't they? I bought them yesterday. I forgot about that, but I'm pleased I did. No, you better, honestly, Steve, get in there and do it on a good piece. The reason I tell you that my art teacher said to me, if you're ever going to do any drawing, but what do people do? Oh, I think I use butcher's paper. I don't want to ruin it. And then you do the most brilliant drawing you've ever done in your life, and it's on butcher's paper, which doesn't last. Whereas if you did it on really good parchment or good cartilage paper, then you've got it forever. It's the same making something. If you're going to make a saw hand, use a good bit of timber. Maybe you ruin it, I'll give you two bits. There you go. Because if you get it done once and it's done perfectly... You don't have the added pressure and stress of having to do it again. And there's every chance you're going to stuff it the second time. I had a, a student of mine, passed away now, unfortunately, but he wanted to make um, a chair. He said, I'll make it in pine first. I said, why? He said, oh, because I don't want to waste any wood. I said, what happens if you work it out and it's perfect, but you really want it done in walnut? Well, I'll make it in walnut. He said, what makes you think you're going to do any better job the second time round? Oh, good point. So we made it in walnut and it worked. So that's, honestly, that is the best truism out. Do it in the good stuff. Not only that, you'll take time and you'll go, oh, it's only pine, it doesn't matter or whatever. No. Oh, my advice, get some good stuff and do it in that. Mm. What a boom, boom, boom. <laughs> da, da, da. Peter, in Norway, we all run on chocolate bath. Oh, now, yeah, oh, now I'm just, whew, I'm there. Chocolate batteries, I am there. Bob will be with me. I say, you must be nearly next door to Prunella. Do you know each other? Because she's from Finland. Mm. And then I've got Benno, who's a friend of mine, he's in Sweden. And I'm sure I've got someone in Denmark. There you go. No, I'm with you, Brian. It's, it's hard enough. It's hard enough to make it once, let alone twice. If you, look, if you're stuck on um, a process, say you're cutting out... Uh, you know, the, or you're putting the round over on the inside of the handle or you doing a... I forget what London-style handles are. London styles are a bit flasher. Um, yeah, sure. Get a scrap bit and just cut that and just 
get your profile right, but don't make a complete handle. Dear, oh dear. And then you learn to adapt. So I, do, I like these, don't get me wrong, Anthony and Tom. I like Lee Nelson saws, but I still think that's a little bit too thin. There, I like to have a little bit more meat there for um, strength. And grain orientation is very important as well. Uh, oh, <laughs> thanks, Davey. Oh, that's it. That's, I found, finally found my purpose in life. Well, there you go. Is that a throwaway with a strong arm or a weak arm? Yeah, look, it's the same, same with these cutting mats. Different now, but they used to sell those cutting mats for $45 and the dollar stores would sell them for four, four, no, $5.99, six bucks. I think they've gone up to 12 now. Anyway, all right, I've got to recut this. I've lost the plot. <laughs> oh, that's a fair call, Brunella. And I suppose it'll also depend if the wind's behind you or either thrown into the wind. All right, I'm going to go around this. One more time, we'll see. I've got the right depth. I've just got to... Um... About half a mil more in width, I think. With a th 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 Because that's... I just wanted to slot in... There's a couple of nice bits here. There. I wanted to slot in like that. So, I don't know. I'll just use a very strong glue otherwise. <laughs> okay, here we go. Too wide there, but no, I think that's that's all right. We'll keep going with that.
Oh, I think I'll do this for a living. La da dum, ba dee da dum. La da da dum pum. Okay. I think what I'm going to do now is just go around there with a chisel, wherever it's stuck, and widen it out a bit. Ah, oh. bum. <laughs> uh, well, it is. It is metaphorically. The, the tongue's hanging out and something else is very tight, I'll tell you. Yeah, I wouldn't put my tongue in tongue oil. Yeah. See, Andrew, all the best. Catch you later. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I just... I'll tell you what I have got. This is a fun little thing. It's a Stanley 79. And what it is, is for making slots wider. It's a rebate plane. And it just widens rebates. And Can't do the corners, obviously, so I'll do those with a chisel. Let's see how far out we are. Yeah, it's the, the um, that's the the original one. You can tell us it's still in a box, actually. I've had it for years. There you go, I reckon I bought that. I reckon I bought that in about 19, no, 20, yeah, 19, 1996 I bought that. So it's 96 to the, over 20 years ago. And it was $127 plus $20 tax. Is that right? Or well, perhaps it includes the tax, I don't know. But anyway, it, was a, it wasn't cheap at the time. Uh, 
But now I use, there you go. No, I don't. I use the side rebate planes, but Terry's, a, oh, that's the H&T Gordon equivalent of that 79. See, it's got a blade on the side, but it's too big for me to get around this corner. So, Stanley, H&T Gordon. And then this is a little slot where you put a, an angled foot in there, and then that turns it into a dovetail plane for when you're cutting sliding dovetails, which we will do later on. Not today, but I've got a couple of jobs that I've got to put a sliding dovetail in so we can use those. So you keep working, Terry. Another glasses, I'm just going to put me Mr. McGlue, Mr. Magoo glasses on. Oh, gee, that makes a difference. Huge difference. Huge difference. For those in Australia would know who I'm talking about there. Old Daryl Eastlakes, bless his heart. I think he's passed away now. He used to. He was the only common sports commentator that could make weightlifting exciting. Oh, crikey. I, I can't see anything with these glasses on. Oh, oh, that's horrible. <coughs> well, there you go. Screwdriver blade is the right size. One eighth marbles out for cleaning that up. I do have a um, stuff in the other shed. <laughs> a Robert Sorby one eighth. They're nice people, Robert Sorby. Make good stuff too. I like it. <laughs> and of course, so a record power, Mike. Don't get insecure. No, that's sawdust. <laughs> Nothing to be concerned about. Okay, so that's that's pretty tight around there. I haven't got <laughs> very much pressure on my finger there because I've got my hand here. I don't want to push and then shoom, straight in there. Because believe me, these are sharp. <coughs> this might get a three mil chisel. Mm. Well, that's, no, that's, is it? Can't remember, is that quarter inch? No, that's quarter inch, it's too big. Too big. <coughs> cleaning any glue and gunk we've left in there out. And this is bits of old cane by the look of it. It's still in there. What sort of glue they use. And then we'll just 
just see if this all fits. Then what I'm going to do, <coughs> that's a little this sort of, I'm going to make some wedges up. Oh, whoops. Um, it will fit in there, perhaps I don't know. Now let's, I don't know, I might have a look at the record plane, we might even do it, I might do it with that. Um, <coughs> From what I understand, you've got to hammer this in and seat it. Um, and so if I make some wooden wedges up, <coughs> excuse me, I've got it here, didn't I? Didn't I have it yesterday? Let me look at that. They're here. They're here. Okay, yeah, I'll make a. Uh... Oh, hang on, which way is it going to go? Now we need. That's not going to work. Oh, me brain. Yeah, no, no, that'll work. We'll make little round over wedges that we can use as taps to knock it in. And also I've got to make wedges up so I can hold the seat swab in place while we're inserting that. What's time? Yeah, we've got time. We can do that. We'll just finish cleaning this lot out first. Yeah. And what I will do is as soon as I finish this, I'm going to stain this part <coughs> brown and that way it will fit in nicely with the rest of the seat. And yeah, never done this before, I can promise you. So we're all learning together. <laughs> Great things hold down. And again, you've got all these ones that they're selling in the shops, real snazzy, articulated, adjustable, multifaceted things to hold your work down. Because all you've got here is a bent, bent bit of steel. And we'll move this over here. So. Very easy to make too, especially if you got someone who's a blacksmith, get them to knock you out of you. These are um, actually cold bent, but you can hot bend them, get a bit of a coil spring, heat it up, unwrap it, shape it however you want, flatten one end, put a hook in it. Throw it on the ground, don't tread on it, and the next day you've got yourself quite a nice bench hook. Okay, so that's good there. 
That's good there. Oh, a little bit take off here. Let's widen this out a bit. Let's take a bees off of that. That'll do. Now that's split. We'll glue that up when we're doing the whole shebang thing, I think. This corner here, a little tight in there. I'll just clean that off. And along the top here. La da da. No. The temptation here is to rush it, but I'm not going to. Yeah, it's got to take <coughs> bit by bit. Yeah, I'd say the temptation is to rush and just drop the router in, but the reality is, if you do that, because I've only got such a small amount to take off, the router could take more than I need, and then in order to save three minutes. I've just created myself an hour's work. That's got him. Yep, that's good.
Yes, I'm well aware I'm chiseling towards myself, but I'm also chiseling inside a contained area. So the likelihood of the chisel jumping out is reduced. It's not totally negated, but it is reduced. And more importantly, I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Got a little bit there to go. I think it's one of the nice things for me to have everyone there and watching and just accepting the fact that I'm doing a job, not trying to show you how to do something, which takes a lot of pressure off, believe me. Yeah, this is... That's interesting. <laughs> that. Oh, okay. Okay, that's unsupported. So what I'm going to have to do there is when we put this in, there was a big chunk missing out and therefore that's not getting the support. So... <clears throat> got to put a bit of timber in there and then glue that down which we might as well do now I suppose <clears throat> good a time as any it's got to be done got to be done <whistles> change glasses so I can see oh isn't that terrible when you had really really thick glasses on and then you just change them oh let me see What's been happening? While I've, while I've been away. Max, you slid in. G'day, mate. How are you? Uh, Know what I do have that's perfect for that too. Thanks for reminding me. Um, Trevor, yeah, hang on, I, I just, oh, I forgot about these little critters. Oh no, they're not going to be deep enough. Well, where are they? Wait a minute. I don't know. Isn't this just the sweetest little thing you'd ever did see in your life? The Veritas. Old woman's tooth. This might just do the business. It's, it's bad, isn't it, when you've got that many tools, you forget what you've got. Oh, look at that. That, that is just the bee's knees. That's for, good for doing the bottom. It won't do the sides. But anyway, um, okay, what have I got here? 
I've got to get something to pack that up with. Let me just go over and have a look at what I've got in my little oh, kit here. That one's not going to work. Oh, that one's too deep. I thought there'd be an easy way, but there's not. I'm going to Love these little things that just sneak up when you're not expecting them. Okay, I've got to have a bit of timber in there from there to there so we can glue it. What I think I'll do is where is where's 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 <coughs> oh wait a minute, no that'll do, that'll do. I know what we can do. We will use, we'll use the router. Where'd the router go? Ah, dear. <clears throat> we will use this. And just cut a groove in there. At that. And how deep? Not one of that deep. Oh, how that deep? I'm just having a guesstimate here. Hang on. Let me just see. Okay, so it's got to go in a little bit further, which means that. Might work. That's what we want. Now you've got to go out this way, Bob, because there's no door there. Here, mate. Let's go. Um. Oh, that's what's under. there. Okay, so what I'm doing now is actually making a trench that I can dig out, then I can put a solid bit of timber in there.
All right. So we've cut that trench in there. Now what I'm going to do is get a bit of timber, put it in there and glue it, and then that'll give support to this. So when we put the seat in, it'll actually hold here and it won't pop out. So let me just go and see if I can find a narrow bit of timber, which is how wide. About screwdriver with about four mil. <coughs> um, oh, I know. Where's that bit of Queensland rose? Uh, New Guinea rose will be at. Oh, that's pretty close. <clears throat> that will do, I think. Okay. Th these are bits um, of the infill that I did for the boxes, the lining. So these are just bits that were left over. So if I do cut that, how deep's it gonna be? Five mil. Okay. So that's about there. Let me do this. Okay, so I'll go with a bandsaw. We'll cut that out and then plonk it in there, I reckon. And I'll take it over to the bandsaw. That's going to fit. Oh. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit off, but that that will do. We might just plane a little bit off of that. Okay, so that's it there. I'm just going to plane a little bit off of that. Get my block plane out.
of there. on the other side maybe. This is why it's important to know how to use hand tools. will do us there. Draw that. It's pretty close to what I drew before. Yeah, I'd love to know how cables get tangled up. They just, I think they do it automatically. When, at night time, when you're not watching. That's, that's the time when single socks, or pairs of socks break up and turn into coat hangers. That's why you've always got a drawer full of single socks and a wardrobe full of coat hangers. That's true. I read it on the back of the cornflakes packet. Okay, so this now we can hopefully put into there like that. I'll glue that into place. I've mentioned about these tops before, I think they're brilliant idea, but they are a pain. Keep coming up. Great glue, by the way. But here we go. I'll just spread that either side. Like that. Get rid of the excess on here. <coughs> Slip and slide to make sure we got glue on there, which we do, which is good. Put that in there like that. If I've got any, I'll just go and get some um, spring clamps and put on that. <clears throat> me I'm having a good day. There you go. I'll never find those ones. <laughs> They've gone forever. Okay. Alright, we'll leave that there. What I will do 
because that sort of puts a bit of a kibosh on going any further with that. But what I'll do is stain it <coughs> and then we'll be sort of partially ahead for tomorrow. So what I'll do tomorrow when that's dry, I'll just take that down with a spoke shape to marry in with this. And no one will know what happened. Where's, where's the dark stone? Where, 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 where? I had it yesterday. I did when we were doing all those. There it is. Look at that. It's sitting there. child safety things honestly that's interesting that's meant to be <laughs> Victorian mahogany I think that's uh, it's a little bit red for what I want so I oh, will just go Another one. What have we got out here? There we go. I think this one's closer. This is oh <laughs> had a job to do. Ah. And um I got all the stuff, bought all the handles, and they cancelled the job. <laughs> oh I got half of uh, no, I got I got a third of it done. But I wasn't too unhappy not to do the rest. Okay, here we go. That's a better brown. And this was the uh, Stain I had to make up to match the other furniture that they had. <clears throat> so it's all good. Maybe it's got a little bit too much red in it. But you won't notice because the um, cane's going to be over the top of it but it's it's as i said the other days if you don't go lighter it doesn't matter you go darker you're okay i honestly i'm just looking at that's an old old one james has got i don't know how much dust we inhale over a lifetime you have a look at your ceiling fans But the body's geared for that. I'll be with you in a tick. So thank you for your patience. You must like talking about talk, talking amongst yourselves and don't care about me anyway. So that that's all right. I've got broad shoulders. I can handle it. excited about this and those of you who don't know this is, this is my wife's birthday present she's always wanted one of these old rockers and they don't make them anymore and this one came up on one of the auction sites so I bought it and I'm repairing it
can see I might do the whole chair this colour in that way. It'll be even. It's not a bad colour. I'm going to take them all off now. The, the clamping is done. It's in. It's not going to move. Might as well rub it all over. And it evens the colour out, doesn't it? Okay, so we'll leave that tomorrow. I'll just take that with, out with a spoke shave and we'll be looking all right. <laughs> so, we'll let me... I've ignored you for half an hour. I've just seen that. It's not bad, is it? Mm. <laughs> like a little breakfast club. Let me go here. With well, such a bunch of different people hanging out, chatting, and having fun. That's what it's, oh, that's the whole idea behind it, Prunella. A safe haven. And, and, and it gets me going too. It gets me work. See you, Devon. We'll catch you later on, mate. Yeah, exhaust fans. That's true, Max. They're terrible too, aren't they? Oh, well, um, so I tell you, I am, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. That's, oh, where are we, where are we, where are we, that was in there. That's quite a nice colours coming up on that. Mm. la <laughs> So I might, or we might just cut, cut a couple of quick wedges before we call it good night, but we'll do some wedges first. Oh. Here's a bit of, here's a bit of blackwood because we can. I reckon about that size. We'll go over and make one and see if it's going to do the trick. If not, we can adjust them. Because we have the technology. So what we've got there is these slots and when we put the cane in, that's got to hold it in. Oh, we've got that there. 
What a mess my sh getting into. Okay, so that will hold the cane in. So I've got to do four of those. So we can hold them in north, east, south and west. And I might do six of those. There you go, no, we'll go and do another six. A little bit thinner, we'll make it a bit thicker then. There you go. <clears throat> so when we uh, come to putting it in tomorrow, hold it in place. Like that, and then when we come to putting the stuff in, we use this to tap it in. So I'm I'm all I'm all excited. Um, can't do it now because I've got to let it soak for about 20 minutes, and that's going to bring us up to one o'clock, and then my boss will be down and go, "You got to go and have a rest. You're working too hard." Isn't it nice when people worry about you like that? I think it's lovely. Ah, oh, and then I'm going to have a, a massive hunt, a really, really serious look for all my cards. I think they've just fallen out of my wallet. So I thought, oh, someone's pinched them, but there was $100 in cash, two fifty dollars notes in my wallet. They were still in there. Bank book was in there. So, yeah, who knows? Ah. Oh. <sighs> Oh, well, my, it was just one of those things. Guardian Angel, lovely. I'm sure someone will ask you, oh, did you get that saw? Lovely. Well, anyway, that's it. Um, I've come about as far as I can go. It's been wonderful, been a pleasure as usual, and I've got somewhere with this, which I'm happy about, so I think within the next couple of days this rocking chair is going to be finished. Sunday, possibly tomorrow, yeah, I might get back onto the boxes. Uh, it's been really nice to have a break from them, but I'd like to have them finished by Wednesday next week at least. Then we can move on to other projects. As you found out, there's plenty to do. So this is Steve pulling the shed door down and saying, remember to keep it sharp, but more importantly, keep it safe, look after yourself, be kind to each other. Exercise tolerant and restraint when you want to let someone know how silly they are. Uh, <laughs> and we will get through this together. Thank you for everyone in the chat room. Thank you for everyone that's lurking on the outskirts. Jump in and have a chat next time. We're all a friendly bunch. Well, everyone in there is anyway, except to me. But I can handle it. I've got broad shoulders. This is a time when we've got to come together 
and just give support, whether it's to take your mind off things for a couple of hours, to get some ideas, to help somebody else. Ray, you help me. I'm going to have a look at the computer and see if I've got anything running in the background. If you've got any woodworking questions, by all means, ask them. If there are other questions, I will try and answer them if I can. If not, I'm sure one of the brains trust in the chat room will. Thanks to the moderators. Thanks for everyone else for your support. I can feel the love and it's back out at you. So till we meet again tomorrow, I'll be back in the workshop looking forward to your company. May your God bless you and guide you and keep you on your way. And just make the best of whatever you can. And what was it? Fearlessly attack your whatever it is that sets your soul on fire. Good advice. Thanks to the missus. Bye for now. You reward them, Jeff, if you get it up and be nice and sharp and use it and tell them how much you appreciate it. That would be a great reward. I'm going. All right, really. Thank you.